how to optimize images in WordPress, including WooCommerce. In this video session, we're going to raise the bar so that you can learn how to optimize images properly. Now, depending on the type of website that you have and the tools available, including your knowledge, could be limited. So the easiest way to then optimize your images is this. Just go to PageSpeed Insights, place the URL of any landing page that you have, including WooCommerce pages, product pages, and analyze the content using PageSpeed Insights. Here, this tool will show you where you can make improvements in terms of page speed. Then you can download by pressing this link, download what's been optimized. I've actually done that. So I'll show you what that folder will look like. You'll have a zip folder. You need to right click, press on extract to optimize contents as in whatever wherever you're saving this locally. Within that folder, what PageSpeed Insights does is grab all the images that it can see on that URL and then compress them. When it compresses them, it reduces the size of that image. So then you can go to your media library and upload what PageSpeed has optimized for you. Let's upload this. Keep in mind, I've actually changed the name of that file because if I don't, because I have the original one that Google has downloaded and compressed, the file name will be the, it will, add, WordPress will add hyphen plus one, which I think is not smart to keep. So instead you can perhaps add another keyword to that image that PageSpeed has optimized. Now, taking a look at this, file size is fairly reduced. It's only 26 kilobytes. Let me show you the original one so that you can see what PageSpeed has done. But you see, that that's quick and easy way to optimize images. Then, the alt text, which is very important for your Google rankings, including web search as well as image search then you can place caption or title okay let's upload it to where this is a featured image that's uploaded to this particular url let's take a look let's press on f12 on our keyboard now we go into we're raising the bar now, so we're going to now learn different ways so that you have perfectly optimized images. Looking at computed value, that's the first thing that you need to work out on your website. Identify the computed value in terms of width, because in this example, it's 840 pixels. That means if the image is larger than that in width, that's surely going to add to the image file size. So you need to make sure that for typical web, as in typical websites, typical WordPress site, if you just rely on PageSpeed Insights, then you're not doing things properly in terms of optimizing your website. Because you could reduce the file size which I will show you a couple of tips and tricks using Photoshop in a second. But just understand that the width of the content area is very important for you to work out. So then your image size should be according to that. In this example, it's 600 pixels. That means whatever images I place within the content area should be 600 pixels. Let's forget about iPads for a second. Once again, while here, let's raise the bar and learn how you can determine what type of visitors are visiting your website. You can go to Google Search Console, go into Search Traffic, Search Analytics, and here 
you can press on devices and filter desktop mobile tablet now this will change depending on your particular website and setup because you may be in a niche whereby people use their mobile more often if that's the case using WordPress is great if you're using a modern theme responsive images as in WordPress automatically generates different sizes and shows different sizes according to devices people use so you don't really have to do much about that once again just work out the pixel area a lot of people use slider revolution for example you may have large images on your home page in slideshow then at that moment what most people do as in what most WordPress site owners do is they don't even care about the, the uh, size of that image as in the width and height of that image now I am using a 23 inch monitor but most people don't do that uh, just imagine search console is showing you that more people use mobile devices to visit your website well if that's the case there is no point having 1980 or 20 pixel high definition image but rather you need to say okay you know what hmm. since most people using mobile devices and tablets as opposed to desktop how can I cater for all of them so then you come up with a uh, ideal um, resolution so to speak so that that's the first step because the larger the image resolution higher the download time so if you're using anything slide show on your front home page and so on just triple make sure the size of those images and make sure they are ideal at that moment you also need to consider the quality of the images especially for WooCommerce because you're running an e-commerce business here that means you want as sharp as possible images best quality images because they represent your products okay so let's go and take a look alt is very important because that becomes part of web search and Google can analyze the alt attribute then you can place the title all text should be as closely related to the file name because it just makes better sense because not everyone can see the things on your web pages some people utilize assistive technologies you can in you can actually use Chrome Vox extension for Chrome Let's actually enable this to see what happens. Chromebox spoken feedback is ready. How to fix the HTTPS not secure message in Google Chrome tab. Let's close your sales log entry tab. Primary menu navigation menu with five items menu item with sub menu one of five. Makes sense. Menu so people, you know, some people may rely on that accessibility is very important for Google as well and since Google is a technology that uses programs to analyze page content a lot of so-called SEOs end up saying oh there's 200 signals that Google uses keywords internal linking anchor text images for image search particularly as well as web search alt text um, title of the navigation now I don't want to go offside but I just want you to understand the importance of image optimization both in terms of Google and your conversions as well regardless if you're running a WooCommerce or a blog post always choose higher quality over paid speed because 
Okay, while well, here, since this is we're raising the bar now, right? Let's go and see. I'll show you a couple of tips and tricks for WordPress. If you're an advanced optimizer, then you can actually use these to see how you can actually improve the page load times. Now, actually, I'll pause this. You need to pause this video because I'm not going to make these codes available. So you can type these down. These are basically short codes. You can then use fuller.php of your WordPress template files and echo out those short codes. I'll actually do that now to show you what happens when I do that. Now that file is being uploaded. That's uploaded. Let me press on Control U on the keyboard. You're towards the end of the document. And some. Okay, let's refresh. Here, that short code can blurt out things in commented form only for users who are logged in, which is you. Because you'll be logged into your own WordPress site. And here you can see certain scripts that WordPress has include and also some styles. Some of them may not be needed for the page that you're loading. For example, contact form seven, which should only be loaded on the page that contact form is at. So looking at the source code, we can then see, okay, you know what? For that contact page, that's when that script should be loaded. Now, this will automatically improve your page speed times. Make sense? So don't just rely on page speed insights to optimize your WordPress images or your website. Instead, learn to do things more advanced. Why? Because you don't just want basically optimized website. If your competitor is using these techniques that you're now learning, then they will always outrank you in Google search. Make sense? Like surely SEO is much more than just image optimization, but everything works together. Keep in mind also Google has image publishing guidelines. So now we've dived in and raised the bar. Let's go and see what else we can do. I'm actually going to show you how exactly I'm going to optimize my value clients images for this WooCommerce product package. So let's close all these Dreamweaver files. Let's close them as well. Okay, what I've done is I have downloaded what was on the page itself. Now, it's always 50-50 in terms of page speed and quality. In fact, quality will be 75% over page speed for images. So now these are the original ones and I can open them up and see the image size 600 by 600. Now looking at this, I actually do have the high resolution ones, right? So now what I need to do, I'll actually find the high resolutions and I'll show you what to consider and how to optimize images properly. Okay, so these are the high resolution images. Now I'll show you what to really, really consider here. First thing, you ask yourself, what does the image show? Okay, so that's the first thing. So let me open the old one. So these are what is on the site now, WooCommerce product page. 
and these are the high resolution units. The ones on the site was 600 by 600. Why is that? That's because for a typical WordPress site using WooCommerce, you'll definitely have image zooming stuff, right? And what you want at this moment, forget about paid speed for a second for your products. And you have to say, okay, how can I make that image when someone looks at it? They really enjoy looking at it because that's what they're buying. They're buying your products. And if you're focused too much about page load times because of images, like everyone else tells you, then you're not really converting, are you? Because you will convert better with using better images. So now let's open this particular one up. Now that's high resolution images. Image. Let's go to image, image size. You can see it's 7,680 pixel. That means look at the size of it. That's 18.4 megabytes. That's just not going to load on a typical web page. That's why you must work out the width of the containing area. So then let's say, okay, you know what? I'm reducing the image size now. And Photoshop gives me the ability to change different settings. Here. I'm not going to cover these, but you can surely read more about it okay let's go and make that 800 pixels and we're using bicubic sharpener for best it's best for reduction let's resize that image so now that's 800 by 800 pixels it's larger than what the website currently has but now i'm going to switch the screens and let's make this 100%. Now, look at the difference between this and this. At this moment, this is still a large file. How else can we optimize this now? I'm happy with what I'm seeing. The sharpness of this image, the quality of it, it just looks great. I can reduce the size by cutting paste this is destructive editing and say okay you know what let me do that so i can do this no problems okay but i don't want to do that i just show you that what else you can do and we don't want to do destructive editing anyway so now let's go and say file info now let's go because these are stock images that's designed particularly for this WooCommerce site. So therefore, you can search rank your blog for advanced image optimization techniques, because I'm not going to cover that in this video session. But now looking at this image, ask yourself, a citizen who can't see and relies on assistive technology, what words can you use to tell them what they're looking at without seeing. Make sense? Like they're using assistive technology device and you need to put some keywords in there so when they read that out, they can at least get an idea of what this image is all about. I can say this. And at this moment, I also need to think about Google, how Google is going to evaluate this image as well. Looking at this, I can say, you know what, this is great for someone who relies on assistive technologies, but for Google it isn't. What is it? It's a handmade soap. Why is that? 
why do I need to put that keyword in there? It's because my value client, it's one of those keywords that they want to rank in Google. And adding that in there makes perfect sense for someone who relies on assistive technologies as well as Google algorithms. Now I can say shows I can add as much information about that image but remember it's about that image also features let's guide Google now copy that title place them into keyword section origin is that today's date is this let's insert that exif metadata let's save let's insert it into this image we have reduced the size 800 by 800 right now now let's save for web and devices here you can further optimize images and you can look at it and say okay you know what let me reduce the quality of it okay let's let's see the difference 10 percent quality two up this is the original and this is the reduced quality let me actually reduce it to one percent let's zoom in and surely that's a terrible image right but let's go up to let's say 50 percent using jpeg and no that's still not good enough because at this moment let's forget about page speed for a second because we want the sharpest possible images at the lowest possible size including exif metadata that's how you meant to optimize images here we don't have to make changes here but let's go to 100 percent and here i can see you know what 100 percent okay that's 100 percent. that's not smart let's go to 80 percent am i losing those pixels but remember we're zoomed in now right the original image you make your judgment as far as i'm concerned 80 percent looks perfect let's now save okay let's do this because the file name i must change let's go and let's just save it in here now why do i have to change the file name it needs to be the title okay i actually use dreamweaver for that as well let me find an empty space and place hyphen within highlight everything let's go into that grab that image right click rename and paste that is the title coming from exit while here all I need to do I'll upload it to my own site for privacy reasons let's go and upload that image that is uploaded as in optimized that's going to upload because we have all that exif metadata cut the title that was in exif grab the caption and place that into title and that's saved that's 800 pixels that means when i upload these images to my valued client site when people press on the zoom function that image is going to look as good as it can be and at the lowest possible size of it Furthermore, it will also contain the EXIF metadata, which 
search engines like Google can also evaluate some parts of EXIF metadata. Now I know this because I've been involved in SEO for many years now. No one on this planet apart from Google is going to tell you exactly what they look at in that EXIF metadata. But nonetheless, they look at certain things. Furthermore, we know for a fact that Google does look in the alt and titles are also important in terms of usability. That's a web search. And remember, this is the alt text we're searching in web search now. From the front end, Google can't see that text that we've searched. And yet, this proves positive to you that it looks at alt text. Let's go and do image search. And voila, it knows that as well. So it's using the alt text. So in terms of image optimization for um, WordPress and WooCommerce, remember this. Don't just rely on page speed and that's it. Because you're reducing the size, yes. That's going to help your website to load faster, yes. But there are different ways that you can speed up your WordPress site without losing you know, quality of images, important information you can attach to images. You don't want to lose those because they help you to rank in Google as well. Then work out the width area of wherever you're going to upload your images. Then using Photoshop, you can experiment. There are many open source image manipulation programs that will be able to accomplish similar things. But at the end of the day, don't rely on so-called SEO guru people just telling you to use page speed only, put some keywords in the alt text, and Bob's your uncle. You want your WordPress or WooCommerce site to bring the results that you deserve. And now you have advanced knowledge in terms of optimizing images for your WordPress site. Don't settle for anything less because your website, your business deserves better results from Google rankings. I thank you very much for learning with me. And while here, for my valued client, if you're located in Europe, check out their website. I'm not recommending them because I work for them, but rather the products in terms of handmade soaps, you're not going to find anything better. They are beautiful. And I'll talk with you in the next video session.